Okay, we are back with more Metroid. How you doing, Max? I'm pretty good. We're trying something new out today. Yeah, you're Got on your phone, on aren't phone. you? Yeah, <laughs> and uh, testing it out, it seems like it's working pretty well. So, uh, surprisingly, actually, didn't think it would work this well. Yeah. Um, on my end, the only thing that's changed is I have now upgraded to a Xbox One controller. So oh, I am wireless, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Don't have right, to uh, yes. have the long cable extending all the way across my room. Uh, well, I don't know. I haven't. I've never worked uh, Xbox One controller. Is the D-pad still garbage? No, the D-pad is vastly improved. Oh, that's good. All right. Now I just have to remember that it's a GBA game that I'm playing, and so the <laughs> the uh, extra buttons all don't work. All right. It well, is not a Super which, Nintendo. Am I... Am I supposed to be seeing a screen yet? Because I don't see a screen right now. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Uh, screen sharing is, for some reason, not working, huh? Let me... It, it's. I Never should be mind. sharing it. Aha. You are. Okay. Excellent. I just didn't have the right button hit. Okay, now I see everything. Excellent. I'm now glad that was good. solved on your end. <laughs> I didn't have to <laughs> restart this episode. Okay. All right. Jerk offs. Let's go to Norfair. Alrighty. So, how was your guys' New Year? Oh, New Year's was great. I mean, Christmas was, was nice, but uh, New Year's was just us lazing at home, getting Chinese food. Uh, Sweet. Had some people come over and well we played some one two switch and uh, oh nice just hung out oh and we made a blanket fort because it was freezing in our apartment and we realized putting blankets on the floor made it a lot warmer uh -huh. so then we just kind of made a fort of it uh, that was pretty fun so i think i got some pictures of that i'll show you but nice we built it in the living room right in front of the tv so we just uh, stayed in there played some uh Episode Ignis and some Mario Odyssey. Oh, dude, you just reminded me. I still have to totally beat Episode Ignis. Oh, yeah. Have you started it? Have you played yes, it? Yes, I have, and I actually really enjoy it, like, more so than the uh, other two DLCs. Um, oh, me too. But I, I mean, just, the, yeah, got lazy. Yeah. The story definitely seems like it's there, but also yeah. just the gameplay is my favorite. Yeah, it it's, feels uh, a lot more like a, um... Well, it, it feels like, you know, classic FF15 gameplay, like when you're controlling mm -hmm. Noct, but with, you know, different uh, ways of strategizing with, with Ignis's elemental control. Oh, yeah, I like the elemental, like, if you're trying to hone in on someone, use the lightning. Yeah. You know, if you, if you got some people, like, kind of a group, then the ice, and otherwise you're just using the fire to wreck people. Right, yeah, so, it's pretty intuitive, then, I like it. But then the, the counterattack thing, once you get used to it, you're like, every time you get hit, you know to counterattack. It's, it's, yeah. it's fun, you know, so that's a lot of fun. So I, I did beat it. Yeah, I won't spoil uh -huh. anything, but yeah, well, you should definitely. He, he goes blind. Yeah. <laughs> <He does. laughs> well, someone obviously spoiled it for you. <laughs> yeah, right. Damn it, internet. <laughs> One-year-old spoilers. But, yeah, right. Um, yeah, I also haven't gotten uh, any death threats for our Star Wars Episode Eight spoilers from the FF7 oh, episode. So, <laughs> so all, all three people who watched it were, uh, yeah, <laughs> were content. <laughs> Speaking of which, that came out pretty well as far as uh, recording quality, even though we uh, lost that one episode in between. Oh, yeah, like uh, one of our best episodes, of course. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do? I'm still holding out hope that it's somehow just sitting on your PS4 or something. Right. I know that's not true. Yeah, if I uh, ever discover it, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> Did you guys do anything fun for New Year's? No, we were sick with the flu, so we're just, oh, I, don't, I didn't even right. see the ball God. drop this year. I, I was just uh, miserable. That's eh, okay. Neither did we. We never do. We were asleep by like 11. <laughs> nice. Yeah, for sure. It was uh, Yeah, but I forgot. Well, our last gaming session, uh, you got sick. Yeah, or we were before. supposed to game yeah, a we... little more. But them's the kicks. Yep. Oh, man. Sarah feeling better? Yeah, she had it worse than I did. I mean, she's still uh, got a yeah. nasty cough, but uh, it's it's better than it was. 
Okay, yeah, the flu is horrible this year, I'm hearing. Yeah, it and, sucks. Uh, and the uh, vaccine isn't really doing much, but... You know, eh, ten, for as little as... effectiveness yeah. is better than nothing. Yeah, I was going to say. It, though, as, as effective as that is, I, I always wonder why they bother. <laughs> Gotta. <laughs> I guess you gotta shoot something up. Right. Hi, jump. So, oh man. If I recall, I'm really close to getting the wave beam, which is a uh, game changer. Give me that missile back. Oh, what's back oh, here? Oh boy. Something. Lava. <laughs> Yeah, as much as I really love this game, I gotta be honest, I'm really pumped for our uh, AM2R playthrough. Oh yeah, so am I. Oh, well, a, we're doing this, and then AM2R, and then Super Metroid, and, and then um, Fusion? Yeah, that's the plan. I mean, we're, we're doing maybe it, not all back-to-back, -back, but... Yeah, exactly. But we're definitely gonna hit all four. Oh yeah, I'm sure we won't forget the story of Metroid. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Woman's uh, raised by bird people, <laughs> goes on missions. You know, if you really want the actual Metroid story, except for Fusion, you pretty much have to read, like, the Japanese mangas that Nintendo put out. Oh yeah. So that, like, is They're apparently happening. still the canon Metroid story. I mean, there's not much in the games that tell you about Samus's past. Yeah. That's kind of funny, considering they changed out the canon of so many other stories, and then, this, you know, Metroid is just, yeah, sure. It's, right. <laughs> it's still weird and creepy, uh, Metroid. Yeah, it is. But, I mean, that's always kind of been Nintendo's modus operandi. They don't, they don't really um, delve too deeply into really massive lore for their uh for their franchises not really i would say <laughs> zelda is the one they do that the most and yeah that, and even that's and pretty bad until recently when they're like yeah sure there's a timeline <laughs> right and, and even then you could very well still make the argument that they're all just retelling different variations of the same story yeah which is or still kind of the way i like to things. imagine it yeah exactly i me too I mean, it's just, it's just yeah. Zelda, you know, the the hero goes out, solves puzzles, and saves the day. That's that's yeah. all it needs to be for me. It not have to be connected. No. Nah. Yeah, it's well. kind of like those people that, um, like, look for the uh, interconnected Pixar universe theories, you know, and they just kind of oh, suck yeah. the fun out of it. Yeah, really. Like, not everything has to be connected. It can right. just be a good story and another good story. Yeah, you know, and I think people also forget with the same thing. Yeah, where it's like yeah, the city is fun, but it doesn't actually have to have a story. Where it's like, oh, no. we're all connected, and yeah. this is this world, and it's like, nah, right? It could just be a fun thing. Yeah, and the nice thing about the hell. right, the nice thing about the city of two is that um, it doesn't try too hard to really insist upon the connected universe. I mean, it's there, but none of the it doesn't fundamentally change the structure of uh the games as we know them because you know there's technically a universe in which they're connected now yeah. what am i doing wrong here i've got to get down there somehow okay and i can't get the speed booster here hmm now did something new open up since I got the high jump. Oh, apparently, because I'm supposed to go up to Brinstar. So I guess that was the way I'm, I meant to go. Hey, lady. Well, hello. <laughs> oh, you're not talking Why to me, you? are you? <laughs> hello, Mrs. Biggs. Okay, love you. Just says hi. Thank you for letting me borrow your husband. Sexually. <laughs> Oh, God! Why did I jump? <laughs> what possessed me to jump right there? Uh, 
So yeah, as far as I can tell, the internet seems to be holding up, but, uh... Hopefully that doesn't happen again, where it just decides to give up the signal. Oh, yeah. That's always fun. At least not in the middle of a stream. Yeah, That's right. Good. Exactly. <laughs> Interrupted streams are never a good thing. No. Uh, I guess what we could do is... I'm sure there's a way I can pause the recording on this and just edit out the awkward in-between where we're trying to get the signal back. <laughs> Pretend like it never happened. Right, yeah, which I, I was going to say is still kind of a, uh upgrade from like what would happen if I were to lose the signal in the PS4, and it's just like, oh, your episode is gone. Basically, yeah, that's true. That so may have been... Splice together. <laughs> <coughs> just splice different parts together. Yeah, <laughs> right. Try to make it seem natural. That may have been part of what happened, I don't quite know, but the PS4 isn't reliant on the uh, dongle like my PC is, so yeah. I, I don't think I lost the actual yeah. internet connection that was there. What, I mean, what happened last time has never happened before, so that was, that was kind of a, hopefully a one-off. Yeah, that was weird. I, I almost wonder if I just pressed the wrong button or something <laughs> when, I, <laughs> when I went to share, but whatever. What's done is done. At least we didn't, um, you know, do that for, like, the last episode or something. Yeah, seriously. Like, the final boss fight. and <laughs> Just take our word for it. What would we miss on that? You know, what's what's missing? I guess getting... Yeah, uh, the, the Corral train sequence material. in Fort Condor. Yeah, that, that's pretty much it. That's right. All right, what's up here? Missile. Missiles. Always missiles. There's nothing more rewarding than the energy tank, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Didn't want to come back here. And down we go. Samus, come on. There we are. Yeah, I'm, I'm still... Um, is I, I, I'm torn between AM2R and uh, Super Metroid for the uh, one that I'm most looking forward to uh, recording. Mm. AM2R is going to be fun. Yeah, cause because it's new. I've never gone through the whole thing, so right. it's definitely an experience, and I love the control scheme of it, mm -hmm. and it's a nice challenge. Super Metroid, I've beaten literally like over 20 times. Oh yeah. But it's and it never gets like old. A, it doesn't, you know. It's just like a an old friend, you know. Mm -hmm. You know exactly. I'd say an old friend that you know their curves and everything. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You don't mind the the unsightly hair on the ass yeah. with age, <laughs> but yeah, that's just with these undulating just blocks that's in that. the road that you can't get past, <laughs> which are actually super easy to get past. Yeah, that's just like oh, this is disgusting. I'm not even gonna shoot at it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> now those bugs up there are actually how I get rid of them, but whatever. We will see. Yeah, Su Super Metroid is a uh, a yearly ritual for me, actually. And in fact, there's two Super Nintendo games that I make a point to play through annually, and that's uh, Link to the Past and Super Metroid. Oh, nice! Super Metroid, I usually just by accident will do probably a, a, about that much too. Yeah. Link to the Past, not so much, but that is definitely in my top five favorite games of all time. Oh, so. for sure. Well, and the nice thing about Super Metroid is it doesn't even have to be a tremendous ritual. I mean, you can no. do it in an evening. Yeah, blow through it in two hours. Yep. I mean, not as good as, like, some of the crazy people who know how to, like, morph ball into, like, a dash. You I've know, made a great mistake. the glitchy stuff, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Though, I, I do like That's... to sequence, sequence break in that game occasionally. I mean, nothing major, like, you know, doing the bosses out of order, but, you know, I, I can um, I can get the power bombs real early. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. uh... That's right, you can do that with a bit of wall jumping. You don't need right. the freeze arrows, yeah. Or the the freeze, freeze arrows! arrows. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, we're in Twilight <laughs> Princess. <laughs> Ooh, Twilight Princess would be a fun one to 
play through it some oh, point together. I was just thinking about that game the other day. I'm playing oh, really? Breath of the Wild. It's like, you know what? Twilight Princess was a real good game. Yeah. Just thinking about the different themes of the games and Breath of the Wild, it's just very, I don't know. I mean, post-apocalyptic, but not in a, you know, modeling way. It's just like, okay, right. it's kind of a broken world, but we're making it work. Yeah, but Twilight Princess and Majora's Mask were just dark. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's kind of the f- oh, there we go. That's no that's God. kind of the fun thing about Breath of the Wild. Uh, people are just like, yeah, we're we're just gonna stay away from Hyrule Castle, guys. Yeah, <laughs> you uh, you don't go there no more. <laughs> ah, crap! They don't follow you through the door. Hmm. Yeah, this is kind of nice though. I am uh, just out of this long enough to not fully remember what to do. Ah, come on. Oh, jeez. Okay. There we are. Clever, clever. Oh, no. Okay, now here, here's where Thank here's you. where you're supposed to learn about this. They eat those, uh, I don't know, m- mother brain fetuses? <laughs> That's what we'll call them. I mean, now they're latching onto you. Yeah, right. Close. They'll they'll pretty well eat anything. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. No. Oh, the acid. No. Death. Man, Samus really likes acid. A mark of shame for uh, any Metroid player. <laughs> you take the acid bath. Okay, eat that sack for me. <laughs> I just realized I can't. <laughs> I, 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 I love a bug that a, eats a, a good sack. A, a certain friend's mother who I will not mention on the stream. <laughs> I can't oh, yeah. even make those jokes because no one would understand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe he's watching us right now. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're getting that energy tank. Oh, God. Oh, God, are you going to make it? It's going to be tight, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, God. There we go. Nice. We made it. Hey, look at that. That'll do. And it only costs you 70% of your skin. Yeah, right? <laughs> Critical suit failure. <laughs> you make that joke last time where there's the voice in Samus's suit. Okay, now it's getting annoying. <laughs> okay, why Why am I having such trouble uh, with these blocks all of a sudden? There, no. Come on. Oh, wow. I'm just sucking gonads. I'm there we are. Burning. <laughs> oh my god! I think <laughs> I lost both of those energy tanks just by fumbling <laughs> around with that stupid... Hey! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There, you there go. we go. Things just got real. Defense damage from ass... Oh, <laughs> could have just gone back now. And <laughs> not have had to worry about it. But you know what? I feel like I earned it a little bit more. So, here's okay. that. We'll, we'll say that. Whatever makes you feel better, Jackass. <laughs> no, 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 no. You see, I wanted to burn. <laughs> uh, and into the acid we go. Yeah. Acid's good for your skin. Yeah, now, now look. A minute ago, this was a real problem. <laughs> but you had to be an impatient bitch. <laughs> off me, bugs. Wow. Diagonally me, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> we took the long way around, but we got there. <laughs> okay, now let's see here. I totally forgot that I have the spring jump. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what happens when you uh, take a big break from playing. You forget what you got. A little bit. Uh, apparently, I'm not supposed to go that way either. Or yes, I am. Okay. Right. Hmm. Well, let's go down to this way and see what happens. 
don't have to worry about acid anymore, so... There we go. Whee. I just need some bugs. Okay, so there's some bugs I can bring to this thing, and I don't remember how to do it. Let's just take a look-see. Bugs don't care about the acid. No, they do not. Ugh. There we go. There's the bugs. Alright, come on now. Oh, I think I just killed them all. Oh, God. you just killed the bugs. Just killed all the <laughs> bugs. God damn it. Ugh. We are not professional YouTubers. It's just no. a disclaimer <laughs> that uh, needs to happen right now. So, uh, going way back to a topic of conversation here, I'm uh, really enjoying the uh, Xbox One controller. I, uh, I'm i notoriously a Sony slash Nintendo guy, um, but uh, Microsoft did a pretty good job with, uh, with this controller. Where did you think to get an Xbox One controller? Well, um, I've been using a 360 controller uh, for the... Uh, for the PC, and I just hate the D-pad so much, and the fact yeah. that it's wired, that I decided to go for the, uh, just spring for an Xbox One controller over the weekend. Gotcha, okay. That, yeah, and I, I, I like how it feels, the, um, the joysticks sit a little bit high. Like, it feels like my thumbs are, like, on platforms, uh, compared to the PS4 and the Switch. Um, oh, but it's, it's not bad. They ha The buttons have a good clickiness to them. The D-pad is hugely improved over the 360. And uh, it has a good hand feel, but the matte finish uh, means that at the moment my hands get a little bit sweaty. Uh, it's, it's like I have no grip. So I, I, I think I like the, um, the, the layout of the PS4 controller a little better, but that's probably just because it's what I'm used to. But the, yeah. overall, I think the the Switch Pro controller has the best like hand feel. If you if you follow me, that that is just. I mean, I'm biased for the PS4 controller because yeah. that's what I play. Right. So it's like okay, I I'm used to the PlayStation and just the format of the controller. But if I'm being unbiased, I think the the Switch controller, the Pro controller, is just the best made controller out oh, there. Oh man, it's, I know, and it's, and it's a only a shame. Thing. I mean, it basically is the same one as the Wii U Pro Controller. It, it's a shame that Nintendo uh, didn't have the foresight to just, you know, make it compatible with the Switch. But, you know, I, I never bought a Wii U one, so it was no skin off my back. But Yeah, yeah. me either. Yeah, I, I never really thought much of it. But then once I, you know, with, with the Switch, it's almost like your, your hand is forced a little bit. When you want to play Zelda, mm -hmm. you know, you... You can definitely do it with the two Joy-Cons and the grip, but yeah. you, you you want the full experience, so you don't... And after a while, you know, I think it is a little bit smaller. Your yeah. hands are getting tired, so... Yeah, I, I honestly can't picture uh, playing through uh, Odyssey with uh, anything but the Pro Controller. I love that so much. No, my... My brother I, uh, actually played through it with the two Joy Cons. I was surprised. I thought oh, really? Played through it with the Pro controllers, yeah. Um, so I know it's a little bit more natural to do some of the um, motion controls that way. Uh -huh. But the only motion control I regularly use in that game, I mean, climbing, you know, when yeah. you're trying to climb quicker. And then rolling is the biggest thing, though. You know, when you're trying to do the fast roll, I do I use motion controls for that but yeah but though that, i actually yeah. found that to be pretty easy with the uh pro controller in, in fact oh, yeah. throwing the hat for some reason i'm way more consistent in getting the uh spin move with the pro controller than i am with the joy cons and same with putting it down like when i have both hands on the grip i can just like pretend i'm like smacking down the controller and it, and it works really well that's actually something i can't do is throwing it downward Really? Which, thankfully, I don't have to do that much anyway. But yeah, no, you, you don't really have to. Certain parts that can make it quicker and more fluid and just look cooler. Right. If it's like I'm bouncing on like the springs or something, and then I can throw it down to activate like a flower spring and bounce on it. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. I, I don't know. 
What I, helps I me is I just that. exaggerate my movements a little bit. Like uh, like yeah. I said, I, I pretend like I'm spiking the controller to, to do the... Uh, <laughs> which is a dangerous game to play, but fortunately the room is carpeted, <laughs> so... Yeah, and I feel like that controller could uh, take a few hits for sure. Yeah. Yeah, and the battery life on that thing. Oh my god, when you compare that to the PlayStation yeah, controller, right? no question. Which I think that controller, PlayStation has like seven, eight hours maybe. Mm -hmm. And the Pro Controller has like 40 hours or something. Like, it's nuts. Yeah. The, the other thing with my uh, PS4 controller... Um, granted, I've had it since... What, when did it come out? 2014. Um, yeah. But on my original PS4 controller... Uh, I've like actually worn through the skin on the uh, the joysticks. But, oh yeah. And uh, I've never really had that problem with the controller before. I mean, granted, I'm playing the hell out of my PS4. Uh, oh yeah, I'm sure you put like 200 hours or so into The Witcher 3 alone. Alone, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. What's the? Uh, what am I supposed okay, to be doing so here? That's like super acid, so very Yeah, let's there. I'm sure what I've gotta do is find a way. Yep, there it is. Yeah, there we go. Oh for yeah, the crap controller sake. I've wear worn to the nub before. Um is the GameCube controller, and I think that was just like a crap ton of well, melee and then brawl. And then Smash Four. <laughs> oh yeah. Four was just worn to the nub. You know, as as much as I love Nintendo, they they've got. Oh my God! Why can't I make that jump? <laughs> they've got to admit to themselves they're never going to surpass the GameCube controller as far as just like a well a device that suits them. There we go. <laughs> I mean, it's the best for Brawl. It's it's the best for Mario Kart. They, they might as well just make find a way to make it compatible with the Switch. Oh, but they have. The, uh... Really? Well, the Wii U... What do you call it? The, uh, the Wii adapter, U adapter. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure they'll probably do that with the Switch. They did. The One of the... Really? The new update that makes USB uh, headsets compatible. It also lets you use the uh, Wii U adapter. So You're you shitting use, me. Yeah. You can use game controllers on like any game, dude. And you can even you can. It's a little wonky. I'm surprised that they just let you do it, and they don't advertise it at all. Right. Uh, they don't talk about it. You know, I've, I've never seen like a Nintendo Switch news update saying, "Hey, you can use GameCube controllers," but you plug it in, and it recognizes them as wired USB controllers. No kidding. Yeah. So on games that is like tight. Death of the Wild. There's some things you can't do, oh, but okay. on but on most games like Mario Kart, they're perfectly fine. They're in fact they're great. So you know when when we had some people over the other day playing Mario Kart, I just busted out the game controllers. Dude, that's you awesome! Know? I did not know that. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. I'm so going I don't know, to have to pick one of those you, uh, adapters up now. <laughs> yeah, I think those adapters are hard to find now, but oh, uh, they're definitely still around. You I can love find me. them at GameStops, probably, and yeah. they have the third-party ones. So I I, third I do party. love me some GameCube controller. Oh yeah, damn it! GameCube controllers are awesome. I mean, I love the the Pro controller, the Switch. It's fantastic, but they're also seventy dollars, <laughs> and I already Ooh. own like yeah. four GameCube controllers, so True. it was a, a no-brainer to uh, but like for Mario Kart. Yeah, GameCube controllers all the way. There we go. Going. Never understood what those things are. Those little, like, fireball faces. Yeah, I don't know if they're just, like, those enemies from Chromaria. Only right. on fire. <laughs> like... Uh -huh. Little spiky dude. Oh, look at that. Fake. Fake love. Oh, man. I, I know we're not a political show by any means, but uh, I am so picking up Wolf's book on Monday. What's that? Uh, have you been watching the news about the uh, the new expose that's being released next week on uh, Trump? 
No, are you talking about Wolf Blitzer? Or? No, no, no. I, I can't think of the guy's first name, but the, his last name is Wolf. And uh, he published a book with um, it's basically like a collection of interviews with uh, White House staff, as well as like big names like Steve Bannon that just talk about like all of the ridiculous, weird, and like even like borderline treasonous crap that Trump has done in his uh, first year in office. Oh, and it's supposed awesome. to just yeah, I, I mean, he'll he'll like do what he show. always does, and he'll just shrug it off, and it won't make a difference. But I mean, yeah. it, it's it's enough that like it would end the career of any normal politician, and, right. and so yeah. if nothing else, he'll it'll call under it fake news. Yeah, he already is, and, and he's threatening agree, to sue. But... Yeah, he's threatening to sue both Steve Bannon and the author of the book, and you know he's just being Trump about mm -hmm. it. But yeah. at the same time, anything that undermines him is just. Nice. Lovely. Yeah, it's exactly. Yeah. And and I, I just can't wait to, you know, read about all of this crap firsthand. And, and they say that, like, the stuff that's on the news isn't even the half of what's in the book. And what's on in the news right now is, is already pretty damning. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, so, so look forward right. to that. It, it's called Fire and Fury. Uh, you should check it out. Okay, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll have to look that up. Absolutely. But um, yeah, there, there's I some just like ridiculous that. stuff in there. It, it goes over like Trump's relationship with his um, with the White House staff. Uh, it, it talks about some of the ridiculous thing that his things that his children do in office, and uh, you know it's it's wild. Yeah, you hear some things like how they really have to kind of babysit him. You know, oh, it, it's it's worse than you can yeah. imagine. It's uh, <laughs> and, and again, this is only going off of you know, admittedly, what I'm seeing in the news. But yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. So definitely a book worth owning. Okay, yeah, I'll check it out. And who knows? Like, I mean, it talks about um, the the stuff with Bannon is kind of the star of the show because it uh, it. It's basically kind of Bannon's uh, little revenge against uh, Trump. And don't get me wrong, that man is still a piece of shit, but, yeah. you know, he knows how to hold a grudge. So um, the stuff that he talks about with uh, with Trump is uh, basically calling uh, uh, Trump Jr.'s uh, meeting with the Russians uh, treason, and he goes into why it's treasonous, and, yeah, it's it's... It's oh, good man. stuff. And, and basically, <laughs> he also alludes to um, what should really be investigated as far as uh, the Trump White House is money laundering. So that's going to open up a new dynamic of Mu uh, Mueller's investigation, I'm sure. Mm. But Yeah, there's the whole thing with his businesses, how he's making a lot more money. Like, you think about Mar-a-Lago memberships. Ooh, there's the wave beam. There it is. And how they're they're going up, and yeah. him being president basically just makes all of his businesses more valuable, you know? Right. And he's like, oh, I divested myself of all my businesses by because, what, you signed a piece of paper that said that? Like, yeah. That's, that's bogus. I mean, we know your family's still running all that shit, you know? Exactly. getting money from that, so... Yeah. What a douche. <laughs> right. I mean, really, like, at the end of the day, like I said, I know that there's no way he's getting impeached. I know that the the Republican machine is just more powerful than any amount of voter rallying or uh, protesting. But at the end of the day, you can always look at that man and say, what a douche. What, like, a grade yeah. A sack of he shit is. human. <laughs> what, a, what a huge diaper baby. Exactly. I mean, I, I never thought that I would be able to competently, confidently say that I would be more competent in office than the current acting president of the United States. <laughs> but oh, yeah. I, I am actually confident in saying that. For me, at age 31, with no political experience whatsoever, I would still carry myself with more maturity and dignity than the man currently occupying that office. Yeah, and, you and, and I'm a wanna, jackass. And I'm about to like, uh, I grew up with you. I, mean, I think about all the stupid shit we've done, and stuff. Right. yeah, you would definitely be. This country would be better off with you there. And that's a scary thought, <laughs> <laughs> right? And, yeah, and, and, and for the record, really I, <laughs> I absolutely should never be president of the United <laughs> States. I mean, I'm not. 
I'm not trying to build myself up here. This is, this should never happen. And if it does happen, God, what happened to our country? But okay, so what's? Uh, aha, I see. So I've got to push him back and then lay some bombs, some dirty bombs. All right, you. You. Okay, apparently that wasn't enough. Actually, there's probably another way to do this, too. I think there's a path that I can open up under him. Uh, whatever. I guess this is how we're doing it. Uh, he's, he's gonna die eventually. Yeah, he's, he's not feeling good. His glowing belly is getting redder. There it is. That definitely means something. Cool. We did it! Now, there is an item hiding here somewhere. Question is where? The old tried and true Metroid formula of bombing everything. <laughs> Let's bomb everything. Blow it all up, I say. Did you just call me essay? Yes, I, did. I was gonna say that's that's what the most. What are you gonna do about it, essay? That's the most Mexican you've ever sounded. <laughs> there was this guy I went to college with. Um, I I was in like a uh, like a civic leadership program with him for a scholarship. Um, it was this big community service thing. His name was Kyle, and uh, mm -hmm. I won't give his last name, obviously, but um, really nice guy and. <laughs> You know, uh, one one day, uh, I, I forget what the context was, but uh, he was in this project with uh, me and, like, one other of my friends. So, so needless to say, because I, I knew the other guy personally, uh, another guy named Chris, actually, we were acting mm -hmm. pretty obnoxious and uh, just cracking jokes constantly. And Kyle looks at us and he goes, Oh, man, y'all's about to make me cuss. <laughs> <laughs> And you know, I was I was good enough friends with Kyle. I'm like Kyle, that is the most black I think you've ever sounded. <laughs> oh, was so great! Y'all about to make me cuss. Because <laughs> uh, he was like really um, uh, it sounds it, this sounds weird for me to say, but he was um, you know, really um, I, I guess like raised in a very pious church movement <laughs> and yeah. uh so you know that that was just what he grew up with you, <laughs> so, you don't you don't use swear words or, or anything like that and that's and that was fine you know he's he a really yeah. funny guy and <laughs> <laughs> he was like resigned to it like, yeah exactly. oh, man <laughs> y'all about to make me cuss uh wherever you are kyle i, I remember you oh, that was awesome this is a really weird room. Yeah, it is. This is a strange part Rifles. of warfare. I don't. I don't know if these enemies are like in distress or if they're getting something from that. Yeah, right. This, this is just a thriving part and of. Uh... And you're just like interrupting their session. Yeah, right. <laughs> this is just a. Uh... I mean, I love the music tribute to uh, Super Metroid. Okay, <clears throat> so. I don't hear it, but I can just looking at it. I can understand. Oh, what it's the yeah, right it, now. yeah. It's the one from the uh, swinging pendulum boss yeah, in uh, Super that's, Metroid. That's what I figured. Just looking at the spores coming out like that, yeah. I figured. Yeah, cl clearly this was not in the uh, NES version of uh, Metroid. Man, y'all about to make me <laughs> can't stop thinking about that now. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. So so that was Kyle, and then uh, you remember my roommate from China, Ray. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I remember Ray. <laughs> when I uh, was basically in charge of teaching him English uh, mannerisms, that was that got pretty ignorant. <laughs> Oh, shit. One time I made him go to Taco Bell and order the Tex-Mex. What else? Oh, there, there was, uh... I would start doing imitations of him. Um, 
And uh, I go to him one day, Ray, if it makes you feel any better, you're welcome to do a, an imitation of me. He goes, okay, I, th I think I can do that. I'm like, okay, let, let's hear it, buddy. He goes, I am Chris Beck. I am giant asshole to everyone all the time. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, uh, it, it, it was pretty good. <laughs> I, just to please, it was like, uh, it's, it's like when, uh, in like a poorly dubbed anime, when they, when they do like the overly American character, you know? That's exactly what it sounded like. I am Chris Beck. <laughs> like he has to, you have to announce yourself. <laughs> I'm a giant asshole to everyone. All the Teach time. your intention. The first right. thing that comes to mind. <laughs> uh, go ahead and hit me, Ray. Come on. No sensitivity. Oh, boy. Come on. I want missiles. <laughs> Giant ass. Those to everyone all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I've forgotten about that until right now. But, but you know, never let it be said that I'm not an equal opportunity offender as far as race, creed, religion. <laughs> god, and, then there, and then there was your wedding where um, the, the wedding party was like a, you know, an equal opportunity rainbow of diversity. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, it was great. Except we we didn't have a black guy. I remember we we had uh, Asians, Indians, white guys. Obviously, <laughs> we had a man of honor. A man of honor. That's right. Mm -hmm. So let's see here. What am I doing wrong? I feel like that side. You don't room have any super missiles. There's a problem. Yeah. Right. There's got to be something more to this area. Hmm. No fake lava? No, that's real lava. That's real lava! It's very real! <laughs> In your mind, it's real. Yeah, it's like there has to be something more to this room. Other than... Well, I Yeah, don't know. it could just be a recharge if, if area. If Ridley's close by, it could just be a Give me missiles and energy room. Yeah. Yeah, we're and not too far from thing? Ridley, actually. Sorry, what'd you say? And the room to your right, what was what was above? Oh, that's the way I came in. Okay, never mind. Okay, so the only way to go is up here. Let's see. There's this, which is a missile blast. And there's whatever the hell this thing is. Something sad. Yeah. I don't think that's seen enough it's of this. Very, life, very, nice. very sad. Hmm. What would Max Biggs do? Bomb everything. Yeah, right. You <laughs> same thing you're doing. Oh wait, here we go. Here we Shoot go. Shoot hundred and eight missiles at that green door. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe one of them will become a missile and fall. Mm -hmm. And fall. <laughs> Too bad there's no lay on your back and scooch up to the missile. Yeah, option. right. Like Metal Gear Solid stuff. Oh. Why am I wasting my? And your back? Are you crazy? Oh, excuse me, we'll like crunch to this ball here. Also, I'm sorry, how, how, how are Possibly missiles or, or bombs not enough to open missile? Now, nah, right. Okay, let's see here. Select change areas. Hmm. It's not giving me, like, a really clear you-must-go-here kind of hint. Damn you. <laughs> Maybe there's more to the uh, part of Norfair that I was just at. Yeah. Let's go for it. <clears throat> well, let's, uh, let's try one more thing. Here's what we'll do.
speed boost here. No, come on! Really? Alright, let's try this again. Nope. Okay. Re really thought I had a shot with that thing. <laughs> huh. Okay. Guess we're going back. Back to Norfair. There's gonna be someone, like, who knows this game inside and out that just stumbles upon our channel. You guys are fucking idiots! <laughs> God, so obvious! You ever play- Do you even Metroid, bro? <laughs> I don't know why I made him a bro. I'm, I'm pretty sure there are no Metroid what? bros. Like... <laughs> right? That is a very yeah. specific type of person. Yeah. There's only two things in this world I really love. Oh, hey, here we go. Football. Steroids and Samus Aran. Yeah, right, and Metroid. Oh, uh, wait a second. I like quarterbacks getting pussy and playing Metroid. <laughs> hey, would you look... Hey. Oh, dear God! Oh, jeez. Jesus Christ. When's the last time I saved, Max? When's the last time I saved? <laughs> oh, you saved recently. Yeah, we're, we're gonna- Ah, oh, God! <laughs> and now you have Zebus poison. There we go. Finger, you just gotta chase it. Chase it. Okay, oh, please, sir. There you go. Oh man, no, oh, there's no chance. I feel a little bad for it now. Eh, don't. If that cow got a chance, he'd kill you and everything you love. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, God, it's it's shooting shit out of its finger. Probably should have started with that. Yeah. <laughs> That would have been the way to lead if you really wanted to win this fight. Oh dear God! Oh my God, what is this? What's it doing? Oh, <laughs> Max, what's it doing? I'm trying to give you space aids. There it goes. It. You know, I have a tendency to cut it pretty close with these missiles on boss fights. Have you noticed that? Oh yeah. Oh dear God! Oh God! Just kamikaze its own nest. And hey, there we are. Super missile. There's a roundabout way to get the super missiles. <laughs> Made you earn it. In Super Metroid, you just fell down a long chasm, and there they were. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no reward for you up there. The reward was surviving. Alright. Yeah, what are those things supposed to be? Just like pure energy. Yeah, right. Highly evolved form, but still wants to kill you for some exactly. reason. Exactly. It's it's just pure spherical malevolence. <laughs> Boom. Super missiles, baby. <laughs> what a bunch of assholes. <laughs> oh god! Wasted my super missile. You still got it. Maybe, uh, maybe they'll give me some super missiles if I kill them all. And he did! Yeah. Look at that. Could probably use some regular missiles, too. In fact, skipping these enemies was not the way to go. <laughs> well, you did it. Just to show them you could. You're going back to slaughter them again. Yeah, exactly. You can. <laughs> I mean, they know who's boss, right? That's all that counts. <laughs> there is going to be a fall right before this. Yes, there uh... is. Oh, oh, he did it! Nice. He did it! Good job, everyone. All right. Oh God. More, uh, those angry little faces. 
Angry Jeez. balls. Angry balls. <laughs> uh, between angry balls and uh, eat that sack. <laughs> Been a... That's like a pretty gross demand. Yeah, this is a gross episode. <laughs> Point. We gotta be getting cl close to Ridley here. Oh, I think we are. Bum bum ba da dun 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 dun. Oh boy. Just checking the walls out up here. Suppose I wouldn't be able to see that if I did it. There we go. Okay, nothing. You know, there's a... I don't know, I guess there's nothing really major that I've overlooked. Hello. You know, the wave beam and the ice beam just, uh... You don't have to worry too much at this point. Well, it seems like a pretty... Pretty good combo. Yeah. Not a lot to fret at this point. Not even the angry balls. <laughs> what, that what is man. that? That means They're low on missiles. Yeah, I was just gonna say, if nothing else, uh, it's a good opportunity to farm for missiles. Hmm. There's got to be something in this area, right? I don't know if he's like the Super Metroid Ridley, but he couldn't just shoot Ridley in that game. I don't back. recall him being terribly bad. Of course, this game in general is on the easier side. Okay, so down we go. Alright. That was pathetic. Hey, does it restore my missiles when I get one? Nope. <laughs> 53 you have. Okay, hopefully there's at least like a little fountain of enemies that I can keep shooting until I'm... Yep, here we go. There we go. That'll do. Yes. No, there's always like a sweet spot you can stand where you... Get the items while you kill them. Yeah. Oh, come on. Why did they wait that long to pop out of the ground? while we're at it. <laughs> that one missile would have driven me nuts. I think 115 is my max. Yep. Alright. Uh, I should save. I'll get the map first. Okay, Ridley. Oh! I'm not oh, as wow. close as I, I mean, thought I was. So close. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> they really played with my expectations, you know. <laughs> you built up my hopes and dashed them beautifully, sir. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh, that'll work. Oh, wait, no, it won't. Okay, guess I'm... Going this way. <laughs> Fuck saving. If I know my Metroid, and I do, there will be a save point before Ridley. Yeah, there should be. Hey, and more missiles. Wow! <laughs> Cleared that <laughs> <laughs> beautifully. Great job, sir. <laughs> Passed it by a mile.
Oh dear lord. Come on now. This is the corridor of enemies. <laughs> hey, there's a safe point. <clears throat> That'll do. You might even have another one before we leave. Yeah, right, probably. We kind of have to beat Ridley at this point. Item? No. Okay, that's probably the exit after you beat Ridley. Yeah. Ow. Why? There we go. No! Why do I keep destroying my platform? Hey, alright. Okay, we're getting close. More, more angry faces. <laughs> Getting angrier. Yeah, right. They're pissed. Sweet. Oh, there we go. All right. Nice. <laughs> That was quite elaborate. So hey, I now have four super missiles. They're giving you a lot yeah. of missiles before. Well, maybe not. <sighs> the secret is to not suck. Which, uh... <laughs> I never quite mastered. Let me guess. Yep. Oh, just barely. Hmm. <laughs> I think this is the, uh... Yep! Okay, good. I didn't fall for my own. <laughs> Stupidest error in judgment there. Okay, now, somewhere in here... is an item. Bomb the ceiling. Gotta bomb something. Yeah, right. Gotta shoot something. <laughs> okay. I'm missing something here. We'll come back. That's the great thing about Metroid. You can always come back. You can go back. Speaking yeah. of which, let's, uh, let's do this just for the hell of it. <laughs> Alright, I guess other than feeling awesome, I don't know what the point of that was. Oh. <laughs> Not bad. Alright, Ridley. Hey, what are you?
Sweet. Alright, here we go. You know what? I'm not even going to risk it. I'm getting that five health. There we go. Alright. Alright, Ridley. Let's dance. Okay, I guess he doesn't want to dance yet. Get an item first. Unknown item. Unknown item. Oh, it's the gravity suit. I guess I probably could figure that out by the symbol there. Hey, energy tank. That's nice right. to have. Right before fighting Ridley. Yeah, right. Alright, now here we go. Owie! Damn! This fight is off to a great start. <laughs> great start, me. Yeah, I'll, I'll just give him that energy tank back. He's not feeling good. Of course, neither am I. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, shit, Dirty. he does a lot of damage. He does. Oh, shit. Oops. Damn, they're the super missiles. Yeah, oh, too bad I wasted him. Damn. Let me get him. There he goes. Damn. He never had a real chance. Boom, I yeah. just overpowered him. <laughs> Alright, the way is open to the mother brain. That's kind of crazy, because really, the original Metroid, this is all the longer it was. This is what? Didn't catch that. Uh, that that actually is the opening to Mother Brain. So, so for the original Metroid, that's all the longer this game was. Oh, yeah. Originally, I mean, like I said, there is a uh, additional part of this one. A lot of add-ons to this version. Yeah, for sure. Alrighty. That seems like a good place to end this episode, doesn't it? Alright. So, I mean, next time, on our way to Mother Brain, then? Yeah, we'll, we'll do some power-up collecting and uh, begin the trek to Mother Brain. Alright, sounds good. Alright. Well, until next time, buddy. Good night, YouTube.